this is Ella Zimmerman, and I'm uh, very excited because we're going to get an overview of Deal with the Devil from CGE. And Eleni here is going to uh, sh show us uh, how it works. Uh, yeah, well, Deal with the Devil is our new release that's going to go out in Essen. And basically, it is a um, deeply thematic Euro game with engine building and secret roles and secret trading. It's designed by Matus Kodri, the designer of Alchemists. Uh, if you're familiar with Alchemists, it's, uh, it's also like a very thematic and, and heavy Euro. So in, in this game, it is set in uh, the medieval era. So players are trying to build uh, grand buildings and they need a lot of resources for that. Uh, so basically, at the beginning of the game, they get one of these envelopes which are given uh, randomly and secretly using the companion app. So basically these, you, you scan them on the app and it, it is distributed to the players. So players take, take on this and figure out what their role is. So if you open this, this is a mortal. Uh, there is one more mortal in the game. There is uh, one cultist and there is also the devil. So you, you don't know which role you get until you open your chest and you don't know what other players' roles are as well. Only the app knows that. So in the game, you're trying to, to, to make smart deals with other players so you get enough resources to build uh, your city. Um, it is one important part of the game is your starting resources and also uh, how much soul you have. The soul is a very important concept in the game. So the mortals have all three fragments of the soul. So this is a complete soul uh, and they don't get any starting resources. This is like jokers and stuff. Uh, and the devil gets a lot of resources, but no pieces of soul. And the soul is important as in the game, there will be inquisitions taking place. And for each one of the inquisitors that visit the city, uh, the, each player has to show one piece of their soul uh, to each one of them. Uh, so the devil that has none, starting the game, will try to lure other players into selling their souls to him in exchange for other resources, right? Okay. So there's uh, trading happening in the game. After you unload this behind your secret uh, screen, you will get an empty envelope, right? With, with your role on it. So players during the trading phase, they will try to, to sell resources here in exchange for, for coins. Like the mortals can get resources, give resources, and get coins. Whereas the devil, the, the only transaction they can do is ask for souls. One or two souls in exchange for resources. So, uh, how does the trading happen? Each person puts in their envelope uh, what they're willing to, to exchange. Right? This is all going in the middle. You, you shuffle those and you with the app, this is distributed uh, to the different players randomly and secretly, right? So okay. you get, um, when you get your deal, you know which role it is from, but you don't know from which player, right? Okay. You don't know okay. which color of the players. So you might take the proposed deal or not, it's up to you. And uh, basically based on that, you want to plan your the rest of your round, which is basically building uh, buildings uh, that require a lot of uh, a lot of resources. Um, also, during the game, you will be getting event cards that they give you dilemmas. Basically, if you do this at the beginning of the round or at the end, you can either um, go up the reputation track by giving something. Uh, to the like what it requires or you can go down towards the devil track uh, by getting something for free it's up to you like every every choice of the game has a good or a bad consequence uh, so basically uh, depending on that you go up or down the reputation track which is important because if you do this a few times you get uh, angel wings ah. for example and that gives you an indulgence which you can use uh, to get rid of one of the inquisitors right okay or uh, the, the devil wings if you get a lot of them you get minus points plus your own personal inquisitor which is something you don't want i love that That's uh, cool. so all of this happens 
for you to be prepared for the Inquisition that takes place in round three and five. The game is played over five rounds. So in the Inquisition, each player shows one piece of the soul to each Inquisitor that is open. That depends on the round and on the game. This can vary. Uh, so yeah, if you don't have a soul fragment to show, then you can try to bribe them secretly, or you can uh, show indulgence to, to one of them. Or if none of this is possible, then you actually have to face the consequences that are usually pretty severe. Like you, can, you need to burn your buildings and so on. Uh, so yeah, during the game, players will try to make the best deals possible to get enough resources to build buildings and to get enough buildings to make uh, combos. So this is like a set of three of the same. So if you, you, you have three of the same, you have the development achievement that comes from, from your screen and you can place it here to boost your engine. So Lovely. this gives you more resources next round. This is the uh, resource uh, wheel, so the production wheel. So you start from uh, round one, goes up to, level, to round two, and this is the different resources you produce each round. So by having this here, you get two of that, which mm. is a very important boost because the economy in this game is very tight. Mm. Uh, so you try to make combos to boost that. You try to see if it's a good time to take a proposed deal or not. And you try to also uh, make good deals to the other players. You can also take loans anytime, but there's always interest that comes with that. And um, yeah, that's, that's pretty much the game. There's a lot of different things that give you points at the end of the game. Gotcha, okay. And this is a very intense and a very tight game. I've played it like three or four times already. And each game feels very different. You can have many different strategies with many different, like with the different roles. Also, it is, I don't know if I mentioned, but it's a four player game only, right? Oh, that's interesting. There's, yeah. So no one, two, or three, no, just four. Just four. We've done a lot of development and a lot of play testing on that, and it's decided that it's going to be four players because it works best. Okay. And yeah, this game has been in development for eight years now. Uh, the designer takes his time with, with these games. And I mean, there's a lot to this, so yeah. that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's yeah. a lot happening here. Yeah. This looks just lovely. Um, at the beginning, you mentioned that there's a companion app, and yes. that like randomizes which character um, people start at the very yes. beginning. Does the companion app do anything else with the game? Uh, no, it's, it's mostly about keeping the trading secrets. Okay. That's all it does. It can also guide you what you do next in your turn, instead of like a, a reference thing, but you, you do have that as well. Okay. So you don't need it, but it's mostly to keep everything secret. Okay, that's lovely. You, so, you scan yeah. your, your envelopes and they get distributed. That, that's the main thing it does. So people who always whine about games with companion apps, they, there's not much to whine about here because it doesn't. Really. It's not. It's not in, really involved. No, really, that much. not at okay. all. Yeah. Sweet. Um, I can't think of any other questions. Uh, when did you say that this would be releasing? Uh, an essence feel, uh, and probably we don't know yet, but maybe for the U.S. folks. It might be uh, released uh, on Pax and Plug, but we don't know that yet. But for okay. Europe, for sure, it's, it's Essen. Okay. And yeah, one well, last thing I didn't mention, we also, there's also one thing called the witch hunts, witch trials. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah which happens in round two and three. So players, uh, each player gets uh, to vote uh, which of the other players they think uh, don't have all three fragments of the soul. Ah, okay. So based on how other players played, it's, it's obvious, like, very likely that a lot of players don't have three fragments because, like, the mortals start with three souls, the cultists with two, and the devil with none. So there will be a redistribution of souls, most probably, mm -hmm. and you don't know who has what. But based on how they play, whether they haven't taken any loans or whether they've built a lot of buildings, you can deduct, like, or maybe you want to punish someone for being like too greedy. I don't know. So each player gets to, to vote which one they think uh, doesn't have all three fragments of the soul. Uh, that's also another part of the game. Excellent. Okay. And then, um, so what happens if that player doesn't have all three fragments? 
Oh, they they can show that. Like they they can decide if if they want to show, and if they do have three fragments of the soul, they are rewarded for that. They get angel wings oh. or points. I don't remember exactly. But it's uh, okay. They get but, they get but the yeah, benefit. they can okay. say I don't want to show, and that's fine. But they get get punished. They get minus two points, I think, for that. Okay. Um. So yeah, there's also some deduction involved, but this is not the the main part of the game. But it's important for you to sort of have an idea of who you're dealing with. Because you can only take deals that you don't know, like you know the role, but you don't know to whom they correspond. So you, you try to figure out like who is who in the game. Okay, I love that. So this is like mainly a Euro game. Yeah. With a little bit of like deduction zest. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah this this looks amazing. I am I'm I'm dying. I'm I'm gushing over this. I'm really glad. Thank you so much. Thank you.